Space 776 is pleased to announce the group show entitled A Little Sunshine from the private collection of Sangin Choi, with the work selected by curator Dante Ballardita Fernandez. The show will be the first time these artworks, by a talented cohort of classical ink wash painters, will be seen outside of Korea, having been obtained by the collector during the Sunshine Policy era from 1998 to 2008. This cohort is comprised of Lee Chang, Choi Gyegun, and Pang In Su. The timing of this exhibition is amid geopolitical tensions, as well as the 23rd Winter Olympics. However, this show seeks to depoliticize people, places, and objects, which when associated with the People's Republic of North Korea, immediately become weaponized by individuals and organizations in politics, activism, and media. This is in no way meant to detract and or negate the experience of quotidian North Koreans, but instead to try and provide a space where an artwork created by citizens of North Korea may be engaged with and viewed at parity with the artists from any other country. In doing so, the exhibition also highlights the underrepresentation of contemporary arts in the country as opposed to other communist and or conservative states, such as the People's Republic of China or the Islamic Republic of Iran. While one might ardently deny that the 24-hour news cycle and unrestricted internet access in the first world and developed countries prevents the susceptibility to being overtly influenced by the media we consume, this is quite the contrary. As a result of the recent exacerbation of political divisiveness in the United States, people have become increasingly trapped in their own news bubbles. People seek out and consume media which espouses the same opinions they hold. While the people of North Korea might be exposed to less media and possess less ways to engage with the media they do consume, they are no more or less influenced as anyone else. Conservative and liberal media alike in the US utilize images of North Korea differently, but always to the extent that whatever is in these images is unjust and therefore justifies intervention, whether it be humanitarian or militaristic. Both ends of the political spectrum are effectively lobbying for the raising of North Korean politics and culture at the detriment of the country's citizenry. This is evident with the results of any search engine query. The results ubiquitously show photos of the Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, citizens marching in the military parades, people wailing in sorrow, and malnourished people. These results prime one's visual narrative of North Korea by creating three narrow motifs. The happy-go-lucky dictator, quote-unquote brainwashed citizens, and victims of the state. This raises the question of how manufactured American news is, as well as that of any other country, in comparison to North Korea. This dissonance and artificiality is the reasoning behind the exhibition of artists who subvert the mediation using fine art as the conduit to express and represent themselves.